Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so very much for your response on the last video. Uh, I did that about my dad's EDC. Of course, my dad passed away in January of this year. And I'm telling you, you guys have helped me so much in um, just, frankly, just the grieving process. Your comments were all wonderful, loving, and outstanding. Thank you so much for viewing that video. Thank you for the views, but more so thank you for the comments. I really, really appreciated those. And um, again, if you have not subscribed to the channel, you can do that because we are very close to my goal of hitting a thousand subscribers. And uh, if we haven't already, by the time you've hit this video, I would love to have your subscription. I would be honored to have that. Of course, we'd love your likes and we'd love your subscriptions but I'd love to see your comments as well. And uh, really, really looking forward to growing the channel here. Uh, really looking forward to having more consistent videos. Uh, May and June are my busiest months at my day job. And uh, so we will be having more regular videos from here on out. Today, I want to talk about this. This is the Evergoods uh, PLC 20, the Panel Loader Classic 20. And uh, we're going to look at this a little bit more in depth, but you know I'm a, I'm a stickler. I love my Evergoods and I love the organizer that I talked about in a previous video. Best organizer I've ever used. I have since bought another one of these. They fit nicely into the PLC 20 and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. But this is a fantastic pack. And I kind of want to compare it to another pack that I've been using by Bellroy. And I think you'll see a few similarities that are kind of interesting. So go, let's go ahead and take a look. So we are in a little bit of a different space here uh, and we are in the studio here where I work and um, we are going to take a look at some of these packs a little bit more in depth. And so I'm a backpack guy. I've always liked backpacks. I have way too many of them and uh, I have narrowed myself down. I've been on a quest to find the perfect EDC backpack that's the correct balance of size and how it fits. Uh, materials and really the key factor is whether or not it has a laptop compartment and for a long time I want to start with what where I came from and that is this the Bellroy classic backpack backpack compact that's a that's a hint that's an earful right there but this is a really superb pack I, I carried it for a very uh, long time uh, for several years and it's got some good use and worn into it it's not very big, it's only 16 liters. But as you can see here, I've got a full size 14 inch MacBook Pro uh, fit into the laptop compartment. And it's got a really nice uh, kind of lip here. This is a kind of a hard material and there's a lot of, I'm gonna take this laptop out and show you. There's a lot of padding in this compartment right here. There's a lot of padding right there. And so they've got a nice little tablet sleeve right here as well, as well as something for a pin uh, holder as well. You've got a mesh pocket here in the front that's this really nice spandex kind of mesh material, but it doesn't open up all the way. And that was okay with me. I'm not a, I'm not a full open kind of guy. I'm not, you, I'm packing tech stuff, so I don't need it to fall out. Uh, but if I'm going on a hike or if I'm going on a run or if I'm going uh, rucking with my go ruck, that's, that's when I need something to open all the way and I'm stuffing it full of gear and things like that. This one, I'm primarily using it to stuff these. Now I've raved about these. these this is the CAP 2L, the Civic Access Patch, Pouch 2L. It's from Evergoods. And I love, this is my introductory kind of gateway drug to Evergoods. Of course, it's got this organizer and it's a wonderful looking thing. And it's got all sorts of little compartments that you can customize. I have since bought another one of these and um, really enjoy it. Um, but I was worried that this, when I got it after what, I'm waiting for almost six months for the initial batch. I was worried that after I got it, it wouldn't fit in the Bellroy pack that I had. But to my surprise, it kind of fits like a glove. As you can see, it's very nice and well seated in there. It's not moving around hardly at all. It's very nice and compact. I really like this pack. 
And normally you wouldn't think of Bellroy as being like an EDC brand necessarily, uh, but I have come to love some of their stuff. I did a review of the, uh, the wallet uh, that I actually still carry with me, this wallet right here. That's the Snap Wallet. Um, that's the magnetic case hard kind of wallet. I really like it. And I really like some of Bellroy's stuff. But there was a lot of similarities with this pack and the Evergoods one that I got. And the Evergoods is almost better in a couple of different ways. Let me tell you about that. So the material here is just nice and thick. It's kind of waterproof. Um, and it, I, it, it did take on some water a little bit when I was in rainstorms and such. Um, but it never, and stuff, the contents on the inside never got wet. It's got a nice hard bottom to it. The weak point about this pack, though, is the straps. The straps are incredibly thin. Uh, they're comfortable when you're not carrying too much weight. Uh, they've got little, very little padding in them, and that's not just because I've worn this pack out. They were like that when I got it. Uh, the weakest point on this whole bag, in my opinion, though, is these seatbelt uh, style straps here that attach to the, the, the bag. They're very smooth, which allows you to kind of readjust very easily. It's kind of nice, but at the same time, if there's any kind of weight on it, it just kind of pulls it out very easily. And I noticed that I'm pulling out, see how, what, how much slack is in that right there. And so that's the, that's the weak point of this bag. And again, I really liked it. It was a tad small for me though. I needed something just a little bit bigger to fit more stuff. So enter the, Panel Loader Classic from Evergoods. This is a $179 pack. In fact, I think both of these packs cost the same amount. Maybe there's a $10 difference, but I'll put that up here on the screen. I love this pack because it has a near full opening. I'd call it like a 75% or 90% opening. It pretty much opens the whole way. The bottom is a little rounded. I'm not real fond of the bottom being rounded. It does tend to fall over more than some other packs. Uh, but that's usually because I've got stuff in this front pack, this front place right here that is just, I mean, it is cavernous. It's got tons of stuff. I've got a, I've got some Mighty Hanks in here. I've got a small Bible in here. I usually put an, uh, my iPad mini in here, um, but it's a huge, huge thing in the front. And so that kind of weighs it down. But then you've got a lot of similarities here when you get to comparing the Bellroy and this right here, namely the inside. So I've got a full size iPad, just a regular iPad non-pro. Uh, I think this is an iPad 8. It's got the same essential lip structure. It looks very similar, doesn't it? And uh, it's, almost, it's almost as if one copied the other, and I'm not really sure, but they got a nice pin pouch here that's a little more sturdy. I found this to be a little bit more sturdy than the Bellroy was but this fits a full-size iPad without a case, which doesn't really help me at all because I usually always have a case on my iPad. Um, but this one right here, if I compare it to the Bellroy, it's a pretty tight fit on the Bellroy. Now there's a little bit, it's almost a little bit more room, but I do like the tab here that you can kind of pull that out with as well. So that's a full-size iPad. And of course it fits a full-size 14 inch laptop in the Bellroy. In the Evergoods, you could probably fit a 16 inch MacBook Pro or a 16 inch laptop because I've got a lot of room here as you can see. I've got a lot of room to move up and down with that as well. So it fits that really nicely. Again, it's got that suspended padded bottom here where it's not going to, if you let this down, it's not going to touch the bottom because my fingers are in between the bottom of the laptop compartment and the bottom of the bag. So I can throw it down like that and it's not gonna hurt my very expensive laptop. Some of the improvements here, and as you can see, I'm gonna put it up here, put it up this way. But you've got your Evergoods branding right here. And then I like what they've done right here. Instead of just having a pouch right here, which you can put all sorts of stuff in, um, I've got just bits and bobs in here. But they've got these two nice mesh pockets, and not only is it just two, it's one big mesh pocket, that wouldn't be as useful. They have stitched this area right here to where there's a separation. So I can put small things right here, bigger things right here. There's no pocket down here in the middle, but that's all the pockets you have. Now both of these backpacks have a, what a, I guess what you would call a sunglasses pocket. And so this one, oh, I got some coins from the zoo. Uh, this one right here is got a lanyard 
clip in it to where you can clip some keys. And it's not, um, it's not for sunglasses to put them without their case. You've got, it's kind of the same in, interesting gray material. Uh, it's a little rough, and it, but it's tough. And um, you wouldn't want to put bare sunglasses in here without some type of, I usually have them in a little bag like this or whatever, and I wear my little Oakleys and, and it's good. But on the Bellroy, it is a full sunglasses pocket. It's, it's, it's got that nice, fuzzy, soft um, padding right there and it's gonna be able to put those glasses in there just well, just right. Now, looking at the organizer, I have two of these, actually, and they fit, obviously, with Evergood's making the bag, they fit incredibly nicely in this bag, and you could probably even stack three of these if you wanted to in this bag, and it'd be extremely full. I have two of them, obviously, and it fits very, very well. And so I really like this bag, the strong suit and the biggest thing for me. Oh, and again, there's a little reflective patch that they send you. You can put this in front of the light, put this in front of the light a little bit and it will glow uh, for a good amount of time. And it's a really good, nice little thing. You can put little patches there if you want. But the biggest, uh, greatest thing about this pack to me and when I put it on, I knew it was a winner, is the straps. And the straps are obviously contoured inside like this. And there, the back of this is really nice, whereas you don't get much of a back. Uh, you get a little bit of a padded back on the Bellroy, but not nearly as much as you do here. You've got some straps that are got a little bit more bite to them. Uh, you can adjust these. I have actually never had to adjust these. I've only had this pack for a couple months but I've never had to adjust these like I have to adjust on the Bellroy every single time I put it on or put weight in it. Uh, I have carried a lot of weight in this. I took this bag to San Francisco with me and went all around the city. Never had to adjust these straps. They're incredibly solid, incredibly, incredibly comfortable. Uh, that's one thing the Bellroy doesn't have. I might go back to the Bellroy if they redid these straps to be like more like the Evergoods straps and so very very nice straps on here so as we're kind of rounding out the review uh, also there's a nice little leather um, handle that you can have right there uh, for the Bellroy pack and of course they have it really hard and built in for the Evergoods pack it's really nice to be able to hold if you want to hold it like a laptop bag or if you don't want to wear a backpack into a business meeting or something like that one off, thing to mention as we complete of, the uh, review is that the zippers, the zippers, the zippers those are, are nice. Ones. Um, on, um, they the still, bag, it's still but they have so, so, much, more they have so much, more much more thickness and so much more much smaller YKK zipper in the ever leather tag. Of course, these are YKK zippers. They're still nice, but while I'm not fond of these these tabs that come off, these little pieces of uh, fabric that come off of the zippers. I'm looking to replace those with some Maritac ones from County Calm. Um, they still, it's still smooth and they're incredibly tough. These are a much smaller YKK zipper and they have a leather tag on them. And again, they're still nice, but they still feel like they're not as tough. So overall, uh, what would I say about these two packs? Well, you can't go wrong with either one of them. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive. Um, as far as really good quality back backpacks go. They're incredible as far as the quality of the materials. As far as the feel, you've got a, a 1680D Cordura on the outside of this, whereas this is gonna be something a little bit less and more flimsy and not necessarily as waterproof, not as thick as well. And so you may prefer, whatever you prefer is gonna be what you wanna go with. But I really love the feel of this backpack. It doesn't attract pet hair. Uh, and it doesn't attract dust nearly as much as the Bellroy did, again, in my experience. And so overall, it's probably a little unfair to compare these two, but I just saw so many similarities in them that I really wanted to kind of give you a look at both of these packs. I'm currently carrying uh, this backpack almost every day. Uh, when I'm not going just to the office or I've got not just my, um, I've just not got my iPad I'm carrying home, I'm carrying this backpack every day. Both of these could fit into your life. Both of these are good and stylish. Um, both of these are fairly comfortable and I'll be sticking with the Evergoods here uh, for a good while. It is the perfect EDC bag for me until something better comes along. 
Again, thank you so much for tuning in to the channel. Again, thank you so much for all the subscriptions and all the comments. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you would like more content on. We're gonna have some content on knives coming up. I got a lot of stuff about knives. I've even got a couple of more videos about some of my dad's carry, my dad's knives as well. And so we'll go ahead and spotlight that. But thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you in a few weeks for the next video.